Hello, welcome back to Recom Facts video. Today we will continue with the topic of deciphering the secrets of the Illuminati Society, and this is part two of the discoveries regarding the reptilian species and their plan for human domination. The story continues with Donald Marshall. Marshall has revealed many details about these repulsive creatures, stating that there is a reptilian species silently ruling over humanity. He claims that they have been here for millions of years, deep underground, and they are the true controllers of the Illuminati. They hold a highly significant secret that Illuminati members have kept hidden for over 70 years. This secret affects the lives of all humans on this planet. Marshall's mission in life is to share this secret so that people worldwide can know the truth and the plans of these beings in the future. According to various sources, they first appeared when Hitler rose to power. His mindset was suitable for their infiltration as they knew he would commit heinous crimes. The Los Angeles Times even published an article on the reptilian species on its front page on January 29, 1934, titled Lizard People's Catacomb City Hunted. Warren Sufelt, a mining engineer, discovered a massive underground tunnel system in Los Angeles corresponding to ancient Hopi records. The Hopi people claimed that these were their reptilian brethren living underground in vast cities. Sufelt even had a map of the city, emphasizing its striking resemblance to a lizard. According to him, the reptilian beings dug this extensive tunnel system around 5,000 years ago to escape a major catastrophe. He further mentioned that they possessed engraved gold tablets documenting the history of humankind. To understand this secret, one needs to revisit the post, World War I era in Germany. In 1932, Adolf Hitler came to power in Nazi Germany, but failed to establish federal control. While awaiting trial after his arrest, he read a novel by Bulwer Lytton titled Vril, The Power of the Coming Race. The novel depicted a superior race of beings called the Vrilya, who claimed to be the descendants of the ancient Atlanteans. They possessed a special power called Vril, an unlimited energy source that could fulfill all their needs and be entirely controlled by willpower. Hitler believed the contents of the novel to be true. Upon becoming the Chancellor of Germany, he sent people on expeditions to search for and excavate caves throughout Europe in search of the Vrilja. He also dispatched an expedition to Asia, particularly Tibet. Only when the explorers established a connection with Tibetan lamas did they learn about a vast network of tunnels and caverns beneath the Earth's surface. Legend has it that these underground passages held the secret gate leading to the realm below, known as the Red Door, hidden within the Patala Palace in Lhasa. When the Nazi regime formed an alliance with the Tibetan lamas, they were told that for centuries they had received assistance from an indigenous reptilian race residing deep underground, known as the Vril Lizards. These reptilians were believed to have abandoned military bases from the ancient Atlantis era, filled with ancient weapons and technology concealed within the stone tunnels and caves in Antarctica. The Vril Lizards didn't use the technology themselves, but were willing to trade it for other things they desired. According to Marshall, the reptilians have a preference for consuming live human flesh, and a deal was struck with Nazi Germany. In exchange for ancient Atlantean technology and the betrayal of humanity, the world leaders, royal families, national rulers, and religious leaders of the past several centuries entered into a secret pact with these malevolent reptilians. The world leaders would receive hidden treasures buried beneath the Earth's surface while keeping the truth about Vril concealed. They were also hiding a greater secret, the existence of a parasitic race. Vril possesses a bizarre biological ability to infiltrate human bodies, seize control of the brain, and access the victim's memories. They can mimic human behavior, essentially possessing the individual. After a period of awakening, the victims can recover their normal activities, except that their brains are now completely controlled by the parasitic Vril organism. It's just like the classic science fiction movie from 1956, Invasion of the Body Snatchers. In that film, the residents of a small town in California were replaced by duplicate versions of themselves. Marshall warns that we have already been invaded. 
The only problem is that we are completely unaware. He explains that viril, by its nature, is a parasitic organism similar to all other parasitic species. They go through a process of infiltration and takeover, controlling their host. At that point, the host is considered dead. Marshall further adds that with the assistance of the Illuminati, this Vril species has infiltrated and possessed the bodies of many top positions of power worldwide. They have successfully eliminated key individuals and replaced them with Vril. Marshall claims that those controlled by Vril are present everywhere, across all levels of government, banking, military, judiciary, media, and entertainment. Some figures in the entertainment industry have spoken out, admitting that they have sold their souls to demonic forces and joined the Illuminati. So how does the process of victim takeover occur? Marshall explains that Vril lizards have a proboscis on the top of their heads, which they use to inject a highly concentrated spinal fluid-like substance. When this fluid enters a human body, it passes through the eyes and reaches the brain, where it immediately initiates a chemical transformation. The victim essentially dies at that moment, allowing the parasitic Vril to take over and gain complete control over the brain's functions. After a period of time, the victim appears to come back to life, with the Vril now in control of the body. They regain normal functioning, appearance, and behavior, indistinguishable from the original person. Marshall suggests that we should remember the ultimate plan of the Vril lizards by examining the remnants left behind over centuries. Britain believed that Vril would infiltrate human society and take control of our planet. In the final part of the sci-fi classic Invasion of the Body Snatchers, there is a warning that when they are here, you will be the next victim.